We got to see Jared Grasso for the first time today since being arrested earlier this month. He was released under his own personal recognizance, and on his way out of the courtroom, the Bryant men's basketball coach had very little to say about the allegations against him. He's not going to offer any comments right now. All the case is pending, but thank you. Bryant University's head men's basketball coach Jared Grosso tight-lipped Tuesday morning outside the Kent County Courthouse after an October 3rd arrest for an alleged hit and run. While the case is pending, it would be completely inappropriate for us to do that. So at the end of the case, I'm sure we'll have something more to say. Grosso faces one misdemeanor leaving the scene of an accident charge, accused of sideswiping a car on Route 146 on the night of October 1st, knocking its driver's side mirror off and then continuing to drive away. North Smithfield police say the driver of that car was able to take down the license plate, later identified as a white 2020 Buick Enclave belonging to Grosso. Police body cam footage from the following morning when officers went to Grosso's home to question him shows that Buick with scratches along the right side of it. Grosso initially denied the allegations, saying he found his car in that condition after leaving a restaurant that night, before ultimately admitting to police he was driving the car that night. During the course of speaking with Grasso, he admitted to driving the vehicle on the date in question. Grasso was informed that he would be getting charged with LSOA, attended vehicle, and agreed to turn himself in with an attorney. Less than a week before the alleged hit and run, Grasso was placed on a leave of absence by Bryant University for reasons still unknown, and he remained suspended from all university-related activities at this time. Grasso was released on his own personal recognizance and walked out of the courtroom with his wife and his attorney. He still remains on leave from the team as they get ready to start their season next week. And it's unclear at this time if the university's investigation into Grasso also includes this incident. Reporting in Kent County, Yanni Tregellis, ABC6 News.